Hey everyone, you're watching Sports Star, and today we're going to be recapping the Indian Super League encounter between Mumbai City FC and FC Goa. Mumbai got its title defence off to a brilliant start with a 3-0 win over Ivan Ferrando's men. Now, if you, like me, enjoy a little bit of drama in sport, then this would probably be your biggest takeaway from the game. Igor Angulo, who was a former FC Goa player himself, turned up in Mumbai City colours for the first time and ended up tormenting his former side with a brace. His contribution, in fact, was very, very important in giving Mumbai a very comfortable two-goal cushion in the first half, which they then converted through a 3-0 win. Now, let's take a look at how this game progressed. In the first 30 minutes, there wasn't much scoring happening, but Mumbai had an opportunity to get a penalty call in their favour, which was obviously not given to them. But no worries, in the 33rd minute, Evan Gonzalez fell Casio Gabriel in the box to hand Mumbai City a penalty chance and Igor Angulo obviously made no mistake converting from the spot. This very quickly became a two-goal cushion in the 36th minute. That's just three minutes after he scored his first goal. And he did this, Angulo of course, he did this with a little help from Rainier Fernandez. Rainier would have made the scoreboard 3-0 in Mumbai's favour if his slightly heighted kick had actually managed to enter the goal rather than bounce off the woodwork. Goa looked very listless, but their problems were more in the back than in the front. It was a very inexperienced backline and the inexperience showed. They were very nervous, they were very jumpy all through the game. People were falling left, right and centre, but to no avail. It wasn't really stopping the kind of pressure that Mumbai was putting on Goa. The passing was impeccable from Mumbai City FC and they played like a side that knew what they were doing as opposed to Goa, which was just very unsure all through this game. There was a goal in the second half and that obviously went in Mumbai City's favour. Igor Katatao, the Brazilian, was subbed in and sort of made an instant impact when he managed to convert a pass from Emma Jahu to Mumbai's third goal. What was really shocking about this, as comfortable as it was for him to just get that header in, was the fact that there was no Goan player marking this man there. So it it sort of exposed the frailties of this Goan side. Goa can't really do much about this given that the side is played by injuries. But to put this in perspective, Goa's starting back five had a combined ISL experience of 47 appearances as compared to Mumbai's 246 before today's game. Funnily enough, at the post-match presser, Des Buckingham also said that the goalkeeping coach promised Igor Angulo that he would sing him a song if he was to contribute well and score a goal and come back. So I don't know if that song ever happened, but I'm sure Angulo is going to be basking in the glory of the misery of his former team. Nevertheless, there was a lot of sportsmanship going around with Angulo going over and hugging Ortiz and giving him sort of a consolatory pat on the back after the loss. It was an interesting game for both sides, with both teams having a lot of things to take away from this game. But before we can see either of them act on it, we're going to have another game on Tuesday where Hyderabad FC and Chennai NFC go at it in their tournament openers. It'll be interesting to see who comes on top of this one. And as usual, we will be here to recap that game as well. For our complete coverage of all the Indian Super League games, you can head over to our website www.sportstar.thehindu.com. We have live blogs, analysis, interviews and updates happening there. We also post live updates from the match on our social media handles. So do make sure you follow us on at Sportstar Web on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Telegram.